During the Zoom fundraiser, White Dudes for Harris, that's what it's called, Harris's running mate, Tim Waltz, made a strange comparison. He said, one person's socialism is another person's neighbourlinessness. I never got that one right, but neighbourliness, is that right? Neighbourliness. Yeah. Okay. Uh, John Levine's with us this morning. He knows how to pronounce that word. Neighbourliness. Neighbourliness. Thank you. Has Harris abandoned any hope of being viewed as a moderate when she's tied up with a socialist? Well, look, I mean, she had a number of moderate options. There was Senator Mark Kelly in Arizona. There was Josh Shapiro in Pennsylvania. Both of them were moderates. Both of them would have given swing states into her column. And I'll tell you, Republicans were biting their nails about both of them. They would have been very, very hard to run against. And instead... She picked the most progressive, most far left of all the possible candidates. I mean, there's a lot more than just what you just mentioned. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was in charge of, of Minnesota during the Black Lives Matter riots, George Floyd. You know, he's putting menstrual products in the, in the boys' bathrooms. Yeah. It's one thing after another with him. He's, he's a caricature of every psychotic far left position you can think of. And he's not even from a swing state. They're going to win Minnesota. So I don't, I don't know what he gets, except he does excite the craziest, most hardline members of their base, and I think they're hoping for just extraordinary turnout that he can jazz that up in a way perhaps Shapiro and Kelly could not. Well, the media loves him. The media is circling the wings around him. and protect the him. The media is going to protect any Democrat they pick because mm -hmm. they obviously want Harris to win. Would they have, a, would they have uh, surrounded him and uh, supported Shapiro? Yeah, the media wants Harris to win. They don't. Yeah, she could pick right. a baked potato as vice president. They would support that pick because they, hate they Trump. want Trump out. Yeah. Uh, here's this stunning poll. Uh, it's a Siena poll, and it shows a majority of Jewish voters in New York State support Donald Trump. Listen to what Trump had to say about this. Roll it. They are so bad to Jewish people, what they've done and the way they talk and their policy and everything else, far beyond just what happened, because everyone thought it was going to be Shapiro. It turned out not to be Shapiro. I have very little doubt that it was you know, not for the reason we're talking about. It was because of the fact that he's Jewish. This is the worst team ever assembled for a Jewish person or for Israel, either one. We'll get into the Shapiro rejection in a moment, but, John, do you believe this poll? 50% of Jewish voters in New York say they back Trump? I mean, that would be a major, major earthquake. And the <laughs> thing about earthquakes is it's always much more likely to not have an earthquake than to have an earthquake you on any given you day. You don't believe it, do you? No, I don't. I, I think that when we really get into this campaign in September and October and the ads start going and it's all going to be nonstop Charlottesville and, you know, and Republican is associated, Trump is a white supremacist, Jews are going to sort of fall into line like they always have. And I think maybe you'll see a little movement, you know, maybe instead of 80, 20, 75, 25, 70, 30. But like, no, I, d I just don't believe it. And I, I know I, there will be some movement, though. I was having dinner with someone the other day who's Jewish and he told me that he was solidly for Biden. But now he's not sure. Hmm. And he's not voting for Trump, but maybe he stays home or votes third party. Well, that's a so different... There might, you know, there's some movement there. 